Hello. Oh, I should mute too, huh? It's the on the bottom of your screen. There's should be like a microphone and a phone and a video icon. Three in the middle. Maybe oh, you got it. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Hello, Rebusha. Rebusha. Uh, Good evening, good evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, can you hear me all? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. Very good, very good. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm a few minutes late. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah. Okay, so so now, yeah, today is so I'm a bit confused with the time, so changes of the market time. So anyway, yeah, finally, anyway, so I can make that, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, yeah. So now the last one, what we are talking? I. Rubisha, you spoke about uh, Doge and Bell and basic uh, influence of practice. Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, sorry. Yeah, 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 a little bit of the, yeah, there's sometimes, sometimes a little bit of the, the yeah, sound break. Yeah, now I can hear you well. Oh, so you, you spoke about basic influence of practice like Doge and Bell and their, their meaning and symbolism? Mm -hmm. And motivation. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So now, the, what will uh, today? Maybe I just thought that yeah, just to share that. We, uh, yeah. So, but you're in the mouth, simple, no? So today, that what will we'll have is that uh, I will just talk about that. Uh, 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 about the imp uh, importance of the Vajrayana practice, the importance of the that uh, we call the Samaya. Samaya is the mainly the Vajrayana, the rules. Because the, this time that uh, I just want to think that the one thing that the sometimes the, these are people's lots of getting the confused with the Samaya. 
mainly, especially that the Vajrayana, the practice, when it it creates a lot of the, I mean, the misunderstanding and the confusion of the Samaya. So that's why the, I will throw the, some of the lights regarding about the Samaya and the Vajrayana rules. The normally in the Vajrayana, the rules is a, something like that, that they are the rules. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so now the question comes to the, what happens if you break the rules? No? That is the one question always comes. So normally in the text, many texts, it will say that if you break the rules, if you break the rules, you will born in the hell. Like that, they will always say it's like that, you will born in the hell. But the, but the, I don't think that is the something really, I don't think that is the something really, it's a really, it happens like that. Because it is sometimes that the, when you break the one rule, if you're going to born in the hell, then if you keep the one rule, you should born in the pure land. So, so that's why the, that is something like, that. but the one important thing is that the, when you break the rules, what really effect is that your practice will not go smooth. It will get uh, some big obstacle when you're breaking the rules. Because whatever the Dharma practice or whatever the general practice, important is the rules. Like example, when you're waking up at a 6 a.m. morning, that's a self-rule. You just say, oh, I will wake up every morning 6 a.m. That's a self-routine or self-rule. And the once you have a not such a self-rule, well, once you're self-punctual or the some of the self-discipline, not very well self-discipline, you cannot achieve anything. The self-discipline is a very important. Even when you're working in the office, you need a very proper self-discipline. You should reach the office on time, or you would walk very uh, time, exact the time that uh, what you have to start the work and you have to finish the work. So same thing like that. It is like a discipline or the rule, but Rayana Samaya is a rules of discipline. So these are the rules of discipline so very much very much important to improve the your practice okay that is the number one thing that number one okay and the second thing is the vajrayana rules it talks about the it talks about the like an example that i will give the one example that the, in the vajrayana samaya rule it gives a very important pain for the master and the spiritual friends okay this is the very important because the make a such a rule that the relation, no, how you keep the relation with the master, how you keep the relation with the spiritual friends. That is a very important because the Dharma practice or the, that improvement is a very much depends on the environment. So whenever you do the Dharma practice and the, if you need a good environment, so you need a lot of good rules in the community, no, they should be the one good rules. So that's why the Vajrayana some rule, it seems that like a, you cannot criticize the, your spiritual friend. No? Criticize is a, something like the baseless criticize. Okay, baseless criticize, you cannot do the baseless criticize your spiritual friends. Spiritual friend, baseless criticize, then the, if you started to criticize only your spiritual friend, then the, they won't be in any harmony in the community. So that's why they make a, such a rule. Now the Vajrayana rules are like that. Then also saying that the masters, no masters and the, the rules. These rules are important since the that that in the general and normal in the master and the student relation, in the especially in the Dharma, it's a very important. Two things are very important. That what number one is the master should have the very strong compassion toward the student. Student should have the very good understanding of the master. These two are the very important between keep this relation. Student have a very good understanding of the master. And the master should have a compassion toward the student. These two are very important. Normally, this only not in the master's, I mean, in the student relation, every relation. Understanding and the compassion is very important. Understanding is that you can understand anyone if you really want. But most of the time, we don't want to understand others. We just want to others to understand you. That's what we do. Everyone, you will tell that you cannot understand me. You cannot understand me. Because you, because you want others to understand you. You don't want to understand others. So that's why, the, <clears throat> that's why it's saying that the student can easier to understand the master. Because the more of them, student listen more to the master. So master sight is a more easier to generate the compassion to students. So these two qualities are very important. So that's why the, this T, T, I mean, the things should be developed in the every of the family. It's a very important compassion and understanding that you can learn how to understand the other. So that's why the very, I always say the very easy thing, I listen more, then you can understand the better with the other. Okay, listen more and 
yeah so so that is the one important i mean the very important thing so now you look at the samaya sama in the vajrayana they talks about the 14 downfall 14 downfall means a 14 very heavy i mean the rules in the vajrayana 14 this downfall or 14 samaya if you break the one rule then as i mentioned before you might have to receive the again the vajrayana wow again or what you have to do is watch in a wow again, or then maybe you have to receive the one more initiation. Okay, that's what you have to do. And then now the one other confusion is that the normal, especially in the I mean, the, lots of people get confused that in the Vajrayana, the student and the master. So the samaya, these are being the relation with the master and student relation. What does the master rule? If the master says something, the student have to do or not. This is the one very big confusion creates in the yeah in the especially in the Vajrayana. So it's saying that if the master say very right thing to the student, then student have to try their best to do it. If the master asks you to go and kill the fish, go and kill the deer, you don't have to do that. Because now it's going the against of the Dharma. When the master tells you something really benefit to you, benefit the whole the ascension with the purpose, then you have to try your best to do it. Trying your best to do means that you don't have to succeed to doing it. You're trying your best to do it. That's a very important thing. So that's why the, if you look at the stories, they have the ancient, the great story like a Marpa and the, all these masters. Sometimes they ask the student to do the very heavy task. But the student, they just do it by just, just doing it. Because that time that they have the purpose, why they ask the student to do that work. So in the Vajrayana, it's also, it's a very important two, two things are very important. When the master asks us something, so you can raise the question to the master, why do we have to do this and that, why? The master side is a very important to explain that, why that student have to do it. Then it's a very, it will be very clear, very clear. So sometimes, yeah, sometimes when they're, so that's why they sometimes, they say sometimes what happens is now the communication gaps happens. Students, communication gap. That lots of time it happens. Ancient time, there is no problem with the communication gap. Because the why there is no communication gap, the most of students sit nearby the master. When they're nearby the master, and they will they have a lot of times because they don't have the internet, they don't have the television to watch. So they can spend at the time with the master and they communicate and that they can understand each other very well. So that's why, okay. So the first downfall in the Samaya, it's saying the accusing the master. If you accuse the master, this is the first downfall in the Vajrayana vow. Uh, that is a Vajrayana. Accusing the master is a normally that that is something that when most of time the accusing master is a baseless accusing the master. Okay, that is the first downfall. Mm. Then the second is a, a second downfall is a accusing the your spiritual friends. Okay, accusing the. Uh, Okay, uh, accusing the, your spiritual friend. Spiritual friend means when you're living in the community. So community and all that your friends who are the, practicing the Dharma together, we call that spiritual friend. Accusing second downfall. Okay, that is a second downfall when you start to accuse it. No, Because the accusing mainly comes back because sometimes the way when you are look at your from your perspective, when you look at something from your perspective, when the things is not going as you want, then you start to the accuse. So this is the normally comes that the, when you see something and the, it wants to cannot accept it. When the things are not going as you want, then you start to accuse. So that is the second downfall, okay? Uh, again, uh, okay, then the second. Now the third downfall is the not generating the love toward the, all of the sentient beings. Okay, very, these are rules are the very difficult rules. Are there. Then the, if you don't generate the love toward the, all the sentient beings, again, the third rule, you are breaking the third rule. Now, this is the very important, I, I want to tell you that you should generate the love toward the, all of the sentient beings. It doesn't mean that you have to like, okay? I, I think I gave you the example. I don't like crocodile. It's, I really dislike the crocodile. Uh, that's a, some, but, I cannot say that, oh, I will stop loving crocodile. I cannot say that I will stop generated compassion toward the crocodile. Then I will have a third downfall of the Vajrayana. I don't like it, a crocodile. That's I don't, that's I cannot help it, no? Because it, because I see that it eats a lot of innocent animals, no? 
so it really but the, i still have a love toward the coconut now here now you may ask about what the difference between the love and the like no love is a something like that when you think and the, when you need the compassion that is a more love side okay even i want the crocodile not to have the happiness even i want the crocodile to be happy that is a more compassion okay like means uh, if i next to the crocodile i will never touch the crocodile no it's very scary no crocodile and this comes of mind when you have the something to like you will have to get more near that comes more when you are like or something like but the compassion is not like that compassion is just wishing more like a something wish to someone or that animal to not to have suffering okay that's the thing okay so that's a third downfall is when the bajrayana practitioner when they say that oh i will not generate compassion toward the all the animals then that will be the third okay so the when we're saying that oh, now i will not generate the love toward the all the animals then it will be the third downfall okay so that's why the, it's saying that now i will give you the one simple example okay simple example okay when i okay when like a snake okay some like a, some like snake and some people don't like snake okay some like crocodile some don't like the crocodile okay just like that okay when i see the crocodile is dying okay see like a crocodile is dying if sometimes that what you are having the lots of the dislike or something like that sometimes you may generate a little bit of the joy seeing the crocodile dying then you are going against that means you are not having the compassion okay when you have the compassion to the crocodile even the you should not feel the joy that when the crocodile dying or crocodile having the accidents or like that okay sometimes when you are having the dislike to the someone and the bad thing happened to the that person we will feel the joy no that is a very wrong that means now you are not having the love and compassion toward that person am i clear okay this are the very tough for the very this is for the practicing is not that easy so that's why i all yeah so sometimes that's why the because someone sometimes when you hate someone so whenever you see that some bad thing happened to the that person you will feel like a joy inside no so that is a going against of the i mean the wow rules okay because now you are not generating the love and compassion to the whole of the sentient beings no that is the third downfall okay hello can you hear me can you give me a second kevin <clears throat> hello <clears throat> can you hear me can you all hear me yes we can hear you okay okay mm. so mm. okay okay so mm. Mm. so now the again the one is uh, just like a mm. So now that how many we talk about how many down for three isn't it? Three, no. Now the fourth is that the, now you cannot you cannot go you what the fourth downfall is the what they are the vajrayana fourteen downfalls in the downfalls that the, you cannot just say that the, I don't care the downfalls okay you have to care a lot of the downfalls. Once you're saying that you don't care the downfall, then again the what's happening is that is uh, that you're again you are having the one other downfall. Okay, there are the rules, and uh, you should be very careful for the rules. Okay, then the, now the fifth one is the, now bodhicitta practice, especially for the Vajrayana practitioner. It's a very important to keep on the bodhicitta practice. When you cannot keep the bodhicitta practice, now when you're saying that you don't want to practice the bodhicitta then it would be the fifth downfall okay so that's why the in the when you practice about uh, vajrayana practice the fifth downfall is a uh, fifth downfall or the fifth rule is uh, practicing the bodhicitta bodhicitta mm, practicing the bodhicitta means uh, thinking the benefiting the all of the sentient beings liberating the all of the sentient being from the samsara liberating the all of the sentient being suffering that is the bodhicitta okay main idea of the bodhicitta is uh, liberating for the benefiting the all of the sentient beings or liberating the all of sentient beings from the suffering okay that is a bodhicitta idea it's a very important very very important so that it is something like a mind scene no when you wake up the morning what will you think how do you set up the day 
So first thing is when you get up in the morning, you have to think that today the day I will do my best to benefit the people, to benefit the others. Or the today the day I will do my best to kind toward the old of the with as much as I can. So that is the setting up the motivation of the day, okay? So you can set up like that in the morning when you go to the bed and then just rejoice that whatever you did it to the others, okay? We just get the practice and rejoice, okay? That is the setting up the motivation, okay? So that's the thing. So it is a very interesting thing is that uh, there is a very scientific nice research thing we've proven that the happiness, when you give the more happiness to the others, then you will become the more happy. That is very interesting research on that field. Uh, that it is research. So that is the very thing. Is a bodhicitta is a something like that. You are thinking to the benefiting the others. It means that you will try your best to give the happiness to the, I mean the other. It's a very simple. If you give the good smile to the others with the pure motivation, that makes the other very happy. Really, sometimes it's a so strange. The one nice smile can you make a make a very happy. No, even the unknown person. No, with your poor motivation. Okay. Not like the flight attendant, what they smile, okay? They are like a 50%, they are fake, okay? They are what they're smiling, even they're fake. Did you notice the one very interesting thing? Genuine smile and the fake smile. If you do the lots of fake smile, you will have a cheek pain. Genuine smile or genuine love, you will never have any pain. That's a very interesting. No, when you're doing the pure motivation, when you laugh, I think the muscle will not get the pressure cheek muscle. When you're doing a lot of the fake smile, no, you will have a cheek pain. That is, I'm coming from my own experience. No, sometimes I have to do the fake smile. No, sometimes in the gathering, people smile, and sometimes, sometimes I'm not that. I'm in the mood to smile. No, so I will smile. No, when back. So when a few times, really, I feel some uneasiness on my muscle. So that's why, <clears throat> why I'm coming back to the point. So what I'm saying is back to the my point is that the, when you're benefiting, you don't have to think that you want to do the, such a big, big things to the others. Benefiting with the pure motivation, if you just give the one good smile, and the, when you say the some appreciations of the others thing, no, so others thing, no, so that will be the really, really appreciation, showing the appreciation to the other effort, that also the you're benefiting the others, okay, that also give the lot the others person the lot of the mental the support, no, that's a very important to give the others the mental support, no, so that's also thing, okay. So when someone also, when there's some the tough time, when you listen for five, 10 minutes of the, their problems, even very genuinely, listen attentively with their problem. That's also you're benefiting the others, okay? So that's a something, even the five minutes, no? So when you can share, sometime in the family, someone having the tough time, no? Tough time, and the, when you listen to their so problems, okay? So family, just listen the tough time, and the listen they're sharing, and the, as I mentioned, you just laugh with them. It will change the whole the environment. These also, what I'm these also you have to do with the pure motivation that is a benefiting the others. Okay, so that's a benefiting the others. A bodhicitta practice. Okay, that is the okay. Uh, okay, what is the thing now? The now the another downfall is when you are criticizing, no, criticizing the dharma. Criticizing the dharma is another downfall. Criticizing the dharma means a criticize means a, when you are saying that the. There's a dharma is a useless or like that. If you go and criticize the dharma, then it's a not a right. Okay, so that is other the downfall, because the dharma is a dharma. It helps a lot of the people, so you cannot go and the criticizing the dharma. But the one thing is that you should understand the criticizing and the debate is a big difference. Okay, debate comes with the reason and the logical reasons. Criticize, you don't need any logical reasons. You can just see that you just come out to your feeling, no? That is a criticize. With the more negative feeling, whatever you're expressing, it comes to the criticize. Whatever you express with the proper logical reasons, then it will come to the debates and the yeah. Argument is a more comes with your feelings, no? not the reasons. So that is the thing, okay? Not a criticize the Dharma. You can debate with the Dharma. Like a great Nalanda scholar, they debate and sometimes they even they tell the Buddhas whatever it said, it is not a right. It said it is not a right. There's no evidence to prove that. That is a debate. That is a very fine. So when you're just saying that the because of the something with the, your negative feeling, when you start to say something, that will become the criticize. Okay. So when you criticize someone, that is you don't need any logical reasons to prove that what you are saying. No. So this is a, some like a very bad habit of the 
I mean, the people. So, so once the person the criticize, they they go and they criticize the everything. No? So that's why the now the that's a downfall. Okay, not to criticize the Dharma. Okay, that is the one other downfall. Okay. Then now the one other downfall is that they're saying the not to share the Vajrayana practice who are not ready to accept. Okay, that's a one very important thing. Who are not uh, ripened. Normally we say the ripened, not ripened student, not to share the Dharma. That means uh, sometimes the one very important thing is uh, not to share the Dharma idea when the person is uh, not ready. Person is not ready means uh, you have to see when the Dharma idea is uh, when you're sharing the Dharma, it's a uh, very important see that whether the person is uh, whether the person is capable to understand, whether the person is interested or not, whether it can help the person or not, that's a very important to see. Sometimes when you share the Dharma and the person, sometimes it will create the hatred or the dislike in the their mind. So then that we should not share the any Dharma idea. So this is something like that. Sometimes you you have to know look at the situation that the whether the dharma can help the others or whether person is ready to accept the dharma or the whether person uh, the capable to understand the dharma. So this situation you can share the dharma because sometimes when you share the dharma, person will feel not very happy, no, so not very happy with the dharma. So then you should not share the dharma. So that was the very important one the message because sometimes the we. Sometimes the Dharma is sometimes the people what we do is that the, yeah. So sometimes the people uh, share a lot of the things that the others are not interested to listen. So that makes some people so very bored with the listening that no. So that's why when we were the kid, when we go to the some of the classes, sometimes I used to get the bored, no. So when the teacher went to teach a lot of the Dharma, no, one after another, one after another, sometimes I used to get a little bit bored. But the, that is a class, no, so I cannot stand up and go away, no. In the normal conversation, it's a very important that the, you have to see the other's interests and the things, okay. But the one thing is a very interesting, but the, sometimes the small the Dharma advice can bring a lot of the changes in their life. It would change your perspective, no? So that's why the sometimes it can happen. Just only one word of Dharma sentence, no? Just one of the Dharma sentence can change that. Oh yeah, so that's why the it's a very so that's why the okay, so then mm, so now the third thing is that then the sorry, now that I don't remember how many that now the not the down fifth, six, seven or what now? No. Now it's number eight. Sorry? Not share the Dharma was number seven. You are on number eight. Number eight, okay. Number eight is a okay, humiliating the our body. That is a number eight. Okay, humiliating the self. Humiliating the self is a you that's a, again the downfall. It's a very important that not to humiliate the self. Humiliating the self means oh you are feeling like a discourage. No, life is hopeless. I'm hopeless. You cannot humiliate it. That's your rule, okay. Because the, normally it happens very much with the, when your friend saying that, oh, I'm hopeless, nothing can happen to me. Then slowly that is very negative thoughts are very contagious, like, a, okay, COVID, okay, negative thoughts are very contagious. One person, it will catch very easily to other, okay. If you, like, if you stay with the three people who always think negative thoughts in their mind, after weeks later, you will, you will start to think like that person. So that's why the negative thoughts are like very contagious. So that's why the, in saying that don't humiliate the self, that's the rule, okay? Self and the self body, okay? More it's saying that not to humiliate the self body, but it's saying the self, not humiliate the self. Humiliate the self, in the, we always in the schools and they always are not to humil teach the not to humiliate the other. In the Vajrayana, it also not to humiliate the self. Not to humiliate the you should not think that it's a hopeless. You should not think that you are not hopeless. You always have to remind that I have a hope. I can overcome anything. I have the Buddha nature that you always have to remind yourself. So that is the positive thought is something like that. When you think today, you think something. Tomorrow you think it again, then again, then slowly, then you will start to feel that really, it's a really very much, I mean, the, then very much inside. Okay. So that's a very important thing. So yeah. So that's a really, I remember the one thing that the one in the, that are quite long back, that's a very long back in the South India monastery, maybe 15 years back, there's one small kid. Small kid and uh, he could not really study very well. He's uh, so much, he's uh, very smart, but he always play. And he's very smart and always play. 
So then the one time I told him that the day was a one kid. I just made up the one story. I told him the one story. I will tell him how the one story. Day is a one kid. He's a very small. I think age was six or seven. No, I told one story and I told day is a one kid. And the boys are very playful and like that. And the later on study and he becomes so nice. I mean the monk like that. I made the one story. I told him like that story. And then the later on I told him that the, wow, you sometimes I feel like you looks like that kid. No appearance look like. Slowly, that started. That kid started to take that story is a real, and the, he started to believe himself as a really that kid who done the very well. Then it's I saw the big changes in that kid's life. No, mainly because of the he changing the his way of the thinking. No, he started the way of the, his thinking. He changes that. Now he believed that the, he can do it. So that's a very important. Right now, the sometimes not not. Sometimes not a good thing happens in our life. What will we do? So first, we will humiliate ourselves. We'll say, oh, my, I'm hopeless. I can do nothing. Really, life is hopeless. I'm failure. I fail. So this is a, whether you are success or you are fail, who decides? Only you can decide. When you think you are success, then you are success. When you think you are fail, you are fail. There is a no perfect definition of the success and the fail. If you ask the what is a success, if you ask this question, what the definition of success? If you go and ask the, the I mean the person who are the company CEO, doctor, lawyer, the definition will be totally different. For the doctor, the success means that they have to be the doctor. For the lawyer, success means they have to be the lawyer. Okay, so that is the definition. So in the final, the definition of the success and the failure that you decide. When you feel your success, your success. When you feel your failure, your failure. It doesn't matter that the, what the people thinks. So that's why the, in the downfall you say, the don't humiliate the self. That means that you, when you think, you're, oh, I'm failure. That's a, you're humiliating the self. Okay, so that's why it's a very important, that's a downfall goal, okay? So that's why the today, the, okay, today we'll stop with that here. And the, yeah, the negative thoughts, okay, that's a very big important, okay? Not to humiliating the self, okay? Oh, now I'm tired of the life or don't think like that way. Because, why I'm saying is that I mean that I mean the four or five weeks. It's a very sad incident happened in the India. One of the Indian lady, she committed the suicide. She committed the suicide before committing the. She is very young. I think age of twenty one or twenty two. Before she was committing the suicide, she made the video and the video and the circle video and send that video clip to the husband, and the saying that she got tired of the life, and please let me go. Very sad. Because say there's some quarrel with the family. Then the, I think the husband told her to go and the die, commit the suicide. Go and you die. Before dying, just make a one clip and send it to me. I do husband was so in the state of the very angry and the said that. And the really the girl took it very seriously. And the died with the yummy. But the, when I saw that, really I could not continue that. It's I came in the news. Very sad, no? one very young girl, just committed suicide. Even the lady is very unknown to me. In the monastery, I started to ask the monks to say the prayer for that lady. Even that I have no idea who the lady is, but so in the news. But the, what I'm saying is the main point is what she is saying, that she's get tired of the life. Now I'm so tired, I don't want to leave her. Because sometimes people get tired, not actually getting the tired of the life. Because your way of the thinking, you are humiliating the self. You think that you failed. Actually, no one, no one can fail. No one can fail. Because only you will fail when you think you are failed, then you are failed. Otherwise, when you think you are success, you are success. So that's why the very interesting story that the Miller Reba, when he was meditating in the cave, in the Tibetan way of the one story, very interesting story that the, he sang the many songs in the empty cave. He used to say that the, I'm the very happiest person in this world. I'm the happiest person. Even the empty cave, he have nothing and he sing like that song. And there is a one of that time, there is a one of the, how do you say that, the district magistrate, no? One of the Tibetan, Tibetan there's a small town, I mean the mayor, I, I will say the mayor, the okay, town mayor. He read the Mela River song. He felt that, wow, when you're living in the empty cave, really makes you so happy. Then he gave the whole, at that time he had the hundred of the horses, no? hundred of the horse and the thousands of the yaks. Then he gave the hundred of the horse to the, his friend. Thousand of the yaks to the, his, I mean the, I mean the, his, I mean the relative. Then he went to the mountain, live in the empty cave. He thought then he will be the, so happy. 
But leaving the one week, he cannot be the happy in the empty cave. Then he started to feel like a really he lost nothing, a lot of things. He lost his home. He lost his, I mean, the horse. He lost his siak. He feel very, I mean, unhappy in the empty cave. Then he went back. After one week, he staying in the empty cave. Nothing happened. Nothing special. Then he went back. When he went back, and he asked his relatives to give him back the, his horses. Give him back the, his all the, I mean, the yachts. Then the relatives and the, his friend told, no, 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 we're not going to give you back. They, you already gave to us. Then the, that town mayor, no town mayor, become a big, then become so poor and he started to bake in the, that town. Then people asked that mayor, wow, you, are, you were the mayor. You was a mayor before. How you become a beggar? So mayor said the one thing, I become the beggar because of Milareba. Because of Milareba. He, Milareba himself is a beggar and he made me also beggar. So that is the story. Is a something like that? The, why I saying the Miller River can be very happy in the empty cave. It doesn't mean that everyone can become the empty cave. But the meaning is that the happiness or joy or the success or everything failure. It's it's up to you how you see it. That's the point. Okay. So that's why the in the downfall is so don't humiliate yourself. Okay. Whenever you think that you're a failure or the life is hopeless or you're tired of life, remember that you have the Vajrayana vow and that you cannot humiliate yourself. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Today we'll stop here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. See you all later.